hello to all my bats out there. Uh, I thought that I would continue this week with the goth challenge that I've been doing on and off again for the last couple of months as other material dries up. So I'm on question number eight. What is your best and worst experience with non-goths? This is sort of a weird question on the face of it because frankly, I know I've mentioned before, most of my friends are not goths. So I have a lot of great experiences with non-goths. I live in a town that, while southern, also has a lot of hipsters and a lot of um, sort of counterculture people present in it. So I don't get a lot of bad interactions with non-goths, just generally speaking. That being said, in relation to me being goth, there's one really positive thing that stands out. I perform at Comedy Sports, which if you watched my last video, I could not stop talking about. Um, and one of my friends there, another improviser, another performer, has a daughter who, and she is recently obsessed with sort of vampires and just sort of the goth aesthetic in general. And her mom at some point started showing her photos of my Facebook as like sort of her token goth friend being like, look, do you like the way Miss Willow looks? Uh, and so that's very sweet. And the daughter herself is just adorable and sweet and wonderful. And the last time I saw her, which frankly at this point is months ago, but the last time I saw her, she asked me to give her a makeover. She wants to be all made up, all goth and pale and tragic and so on. She didn't use those words, but, but I think that's what she was getting at. As for my worst experience, that's a little harder to pinpoint because I'm not sure that the experiences I'm thinking of are really truly related to me being goth. Um, there's one guy in Barnes & Noble that I practically had, I mean, no, I did have a fight with him. Um, he was being incredibly rude and incredibly sexist. God, I can't remember the words he used, but basically his message was that I was a slut and a sinner because I got tattoos. I gotta tell you, especially in Richmond, which is a heavily, heavily tattooed city, I'm not sure that has anything to do with me being goth, per se, so much as it has to do with this guy being old and out of touch. I mean, honestly, I think that day I was dressed down, I don't think I was wearing anything super gothy, I don't think I had any makeup on, um, except maybe drawn in my eyebrows, and I'm not even sure how long ago that was, that might actually have been before I buzzed all of this off. So it's not like I was looking super, super out there and crazy and weird and goth when that happened. Same sort of story, I was picking up a prescription, and again, you know, I was picking up a prescription. I didn't feel well. I was in, like, nasty, like, laundry day kind of clothes. I, my hair was definitely buzzed by that point. I wasn't shaving it yet, but it was buzzed. And the rest of it was just up in a ponytail, like no makeup, no jewelry, like I was not looking to impress anybody, right? And I was picking a prescription and as I was leaving the prescription counter, this old man, I'm seeing a trend here, this old man said, oh my lord. And I turned on him and I said, do you have a problem? And he said, well yes I do. And I responded with something along the lines of, yeah me too, it's judgmental old assholes like you. And turned on my heel and left. But I mean, that was, that was my pharmacy. That's like less than a mile from where I live. That's a place that I'm in you probably at least once a week. That's probably not true. At least once a month. And you know, I'm at that shopping center at least once a week. So that's where my grocery store is too. So for it to happen sort of that close to home, that, um, that really got to me. But again, you know, I had bright red hair at the time. My head was half shaved, whatever. It's not like I was you know, fully dressed in my best macabre, you know, black on black textures, etc, etc. I just looked weird to him. It had nothing to do with being goth, per se. And the third incident that I can think of is actually pretty funny. I was out in Ohio visiting some friends, and there's this pie place uh, that's part of this huge, like, it's not a shopping center, it's just this huge gift shop, like a candy store, and a restaurant that's all, and like an art gallery, but the art's all like super kitschy, um, like hotel art, it's terrible. Um, I was out visiting them, we always go there for pie because they have amazing pie, and the whole place is run by 
Quakers? I don't think it's Quakers, but it's a religious group similar to them in terms of sort of having m moral fashioned ideas, ideas that are less in step with most of our culture. And we were waiting in line because there's always a line to get into this restaurant for this pie because their pie is amazing. And I left my group to go to the bathroom and I didn't even hear some of them, but there are reportedly three different old women uh, who went, oh my lord, as I walked by. And that's just funny to me. I wasn't even, like, aside from the pervert hair, actually, I don't think I looked that weird. I think this was before I buzzed or shaved this. I was wearing... I can't remember if I was wearing a red tank top or a black tank top, but I was wearing, you know, like, a fairly subdued, standard, boring top. And the skirt I was wearing did have skulls on it, but it's a skirt that is... It's actually... I modified a square dancing skirt pattern. Um, so it's this big, full circle skirt that comes down just around to my knees, a little past my knees. And every other panel in it is a material, it's a black material with a red, purple, and blue repeating pattern of skulls. But they're like cartoon skulls, they're not even realistic looking skulls. So again, wasn't that extreme. And I think that's actually really telling. I think it's really telling that the times I've been accosted or you sort of picked out on a, in a crowd for being goth or being alternative or being other have been when my appearance has actually been on the milder side. And I don't know what that means exactly. It makes me wonder if maybe people are more afraid when I'm super gothed up, like if, if I'm more intimidating that way maybe. And that when I'm dressed down and just have like one or two things that sort of stand out as weird, like my hair that is always my hair, like regardless of what else I've done with it. I wonder if that's what causes people to be a little bit braver in being old-fashioned bigots.